This conference will now be recorded. So we created till depreciation key in the last session. Now let us complete the remaining settings and then post one asset to check the financial impact and calculation impact from our manual working with SAP working on the SAP. So on your asset figures. Let's go to SAP. ORFA. Depreciation. Valuation methods. Sorry. Valuation methods. Depreciation key. Maintain depreciation key. Chart of depreciation was DEIN. And we created three depreciation keys DF01, DF02, DF03. Now, after this, we need to create a few more settings and then we are good to create one asset master. After creating depreciation key, we need to ensure that depreciation areas are activated in your asset class. We have created one asset class, right? We have created one asset class. Anybody remember what is our asset class? D 10,000. Now, next one you need to go to general valuation. Inside the general valuation, if you go to determine depreciation areas in asset class, let's open this. From this screen, let's take our dip asset class, which is D10,000. Go down. This is our asset class, which we have created. Select your asset class on the left hand side, double click on depreciation areas. Now, this is important screen. Most of the times what will happen? You will complete your asset accounting configuration. You will try to create an asset. But if this is setting is missing, system will not allow you to create the asset. Now we have not created this asset. Sorry, we have not completed this setting. Let me try to create an asset for this asset class and then we will see what system is doing. I'm not maintaining this setting. Let me go to another screen to create asset master to create the asset master. Transaction code is AS01. Go to AS01. Input your company code DEIN. And asset class. Open the drop down. Our asset class was D10,000. If you look at here, there is nothing called D series. Correct? After A series, B series, D series is missing, which means our asset class is not appearing in this list. This is because your asset class is not activated for depreciation areas. This screen, whatever you are seeing here, this is screen configuration. Transaction code is OAYZ. This is important screen. Most of the times we will forget to update this configuration, which will result issues or errors in creating your asset master. Always ensure your depreciation areas are activated for your asset class. By default, if you see, it is displaying all your six depreciation areas. But unless and until you activate, by default, all the areas are deactivated according to standard system. If you see, this is your depreciation area 01. This is your deactivation. If you see this, this is tick enabled. Tick enabled means this area is deactivated. If tick removed means this area is activated. You need to remove all the ticks wherever you are able to unlock. You will be able to unlock depreciation ticks only for the local currency. For the foreign currency, you will not be able to do it because the foreign currency depreciation areas are derived depreciation areas. After removing this, just hit enter on the keyboard. When you hit enter on the keyboard, you will start receiving the error messages. 
asking you to input specify screen layout rule this specify screen layout rule is related to depreciation areas initially we have had one screen layout rule which is related to master data now this screen layout rule is related to depreciation areas here we will be using standard screen layout rule 1000 or you can use your own screen layout rule also okay so as of now i am going ahead with screen layout rule 1000 put this 1000 press enter same thing you update 1000 here here also you put 1000 now if you check all this have been automatically unlocked now it is asking you to input a depreciation key for ifrs we have created depreciation key df01 15% ifrs next one for indian companies act we have created df02 5 years useful life and for income tax act we have created df03 20% wdv method next one you need to give default useful life so i am going ahead with 99 years here and here wherever you have percentage your life is not going to come into picture if your depreciation is based on percentage life by default you will provide as 99 years because the system is going to apply the depreciation rate as long as your asset has a value but when it comes to your depreciation based on the useful life method you are not supposed to put 99 years strictly you have to put the life which is actually valid for your asset according to indian companies act we have decided that your df02 is valid for how many years five years useful life you have to strictly put five years here you cannot put 99 years for the depreciation which is based on life clear now these values are defaulted as depreciation areas whenever you create any asset under this asset class okay whatever we have updated here will come by default if you want you can change at asset master level but otherwise the same values will get populated automatically on the asset master as depreciation areas while creating the master record save this okay this is settings have been saved next one i'll just refresh this screen slash n as01 company code now let me try to open the asset class now if you see the asset class is appearing here you will see your asset class appearing on the asset master creation screen only after performing OAYZ setting. If OAYZ settings are not done, you will not be able to see the asset class on the system. Select this asset class. Let's try to create. If you try to create this, you are getting another error message. These are all the standard common error messages that you will be receiving while practicing. Right now, this error message is talking about information about last completed fiscal year is incomplete information about last completed fiscal year is incomplete which means system is not able to identify what is your current fiscal year according to asset accounting now you need to define your current fiscal year in system so that sap will understand your current year or your current opened fiscal year is 2023 this is setting is missing unless and until this is setting is done you will not be able to create the asset master record for this you need to do another setting now let me go to configuration screen fa underscore cmp yeah come to this minimize the general valuation at the end you will find something related to asset data transfer open asset data transfer in this you will find parameters for data transfer open this parameters for data transfer here you will find define transfer date and additional parameters select this
if you select this you are on a screen you are on a screen with a transaction code FAA underscore CMP underscore LDT okay FAA underscore CMP underscore LDT legacy data transfer or you can directly come to this screen with that is you can the screen is gone okay now come in sir it's no visible. sir it is visible visible right yes, just sir, try visible. to visible. reach on it's been visible sir yeah, just try to reach on if somebody is not able to see maybe network issues okay in this list you need to look at your company code this is your faa underscore cmp in this it will give you all the company code list from this list we need to ensure our company code is appearing here and against our company code the last closed fiscal year and current fiscal year must be properly updated if i look at this list there are company codes 100 2233 and all from this list go to d series our company code is DEIN. Do you find our company code here? No, sir. Our company code DEIN is not appearing. If your company code DEIN is not appearing in this screen, which is your FAA underscore CMP, there are some settings which are missing. Okay, there are some settings which are missing. Because of that, your company code is not appearing here. Because here, you will not be able to add your company code even if you are on the change mode there will be no option to add a company code if your asset accounting configuration is properly completed your company code will reflect here automatically if not it will not appear currently our company code is not appearing which means there are some more settings which are missing there are some more settings which are missing let's go back we understood that company code is we understood company code is not there company code is not appearing reason settings are incomplete now if you remember at the beginning we had something in the integration with the general ledger accounting you have technical clearing account for integrated asset acquisition in this define technical clearing account for integrated asset acquisition open this here against our chart of account which is your DEGR there is no record we need to ensure our chart of account has a technical clearing account for fixed asset and this GL account for technical clearing account is updated in this configuration this is one of the mandatory configurations in S4 HANA asset accounting let me create one GL account I'll go to FS00 Chart of accounts, sorry. company code is DEIN. In this, I will be selecting technical accounts, miscellaneous marketing. Do you find this? Takeover account anywhere, migration takeover group. Test. We have not created D E I N eight star. Okay, for time being, I'll create under fixed asset only the technical cle clearing account. I'll take this number, copy, 
I will take something like 20, a different number I will take. I will put asset technical clearing. Clear? The GL description we are taking as asset technical clearing. And this one I am not taking as a reconciliation account. I am taking normal account to see if system allows or not. Create bank interest G001. I will save this. We created 101020. 101 000 20 as asset technical clearing account. Now this asset technical clearing account will have to be assigned in your asset accounting configuration. In this screen, in this screen, we need to ensure that asset technical clearing account is maintained. Come to new entries here. Put your chart of account DEGR. This is not company code specific. This is chart of account specific. If you have multiple company codes, only one time you will have to maintain this setting because all the company codes which are using this chart of account will work automatically if this setting is updated here. I'll put this GL account number, enter, I'll try to save it. Now, when I try to save this, I am getting an error message. This error message, chart of account DEGR, company code DEIN, account 101 must be reconciliation account. Right. This must be reconciliation account. In short, your asset technical clearing account, should this be a normal account or asset reconciliation account? Reconciliation. This must be asset reconciliation account. This point you will be specifically asked in your interview. Right. What kind of account is your asset technical clearing account? Is this a normal account or a reconciliation account? So you should be confident enough to answer that this is a asset reconciliation account. If you create as a normal account, system will not accept the GL account. Now let me close this. Now we understood this is a reconciliation account. Go to GL master change mode in control data. Put this reconciliation account for asset and then save it. Data saved. Let's try to assign this GL account once again. Enter and then I'll try to save it. Still this is not taking because I have to come out and then redo it. Open once again. New entries. Chart of account. GL account and then save it. We need to create a new GL again. The system has determined that the technical clearing account chart of account DEGR is not defined as reconciliation account for asset. We have already done that. Again, we need to create a GL. Let me remove this. Save it. Come back. Let's come here. This is your asset reconciliation, which is already created. Sorry. Yeah, this is 20, which is already a reconciliation account. It has to take. Let's see why this is not taking. New entries chart of account this GL account save make sure this account is reconciliation account this is already a reconciliation account
even i got this error sir i created the new gl again not allowed in company code rvin let me check now this chart of account is used by different company codes in order to okay the reason is different Re the reason is if you look at here this error message is having for this company code DEIN but above this below this there are different company codes EEIN CDIN I'll show you this if you go to SE16N table for company codes is T001 go to T001 in this you put your chart of account DEGR put your chart of account click on execute you got eight company codes here. Correct? Huh? Yes, sir. Now, what system is expecting before you create this GL account as technic as your technical clearing account, make sure this GL account is extended to all these company codes. That is what it is talking about. It is telling technical clearing account not allowed in company code RVIM. Now, what I will do let me try to extend this GL account to all the other company codes to copy the GL account transaction code FS15 go to FS15 GL account is this and your ta source company code is DEIN remove this check file go to target company codes First, let me take one company code CDIN. And I'll copy all the other company codes. DEIN is already there. Copy. I'll put them here. Now, all the company codes I have put and click on execute it has given this message let me go back target company code is showing no error now let me go to Table name for GL account and company code. KB1. SKB1. I'll put this GL account. SC16N. SKB1. We were talking about this GL account. I'll copy this GL number. I'll put only this. GL account number here. I'll click on execute. If I do it, I got only one company code, which means whatever the copy that we have done is not done. The copying from FS15 is not successful. If it is successful, you are supposed to get eight company codes here for that GL account. Correct? Huh? It did not happen. Let's go to FS15 once again. Now execute. The file name. This it says list does not contain any data. Go back. Update run target company code. It is not showing anything. Let's go back. Let's go to SC16N SKB1. Try to refresh this. Now, if you see this, it has updated all the company codes. Correct? Yes. Now, in all your company codes where your chart of account DEGR is used, this GL account is extended. 
let me try to create this once again on the same screen let me press enter i'll try to save it now is this allowing us to save enter yes now now this setting has been updated go back we have done this now next one to ensure we need to go to again what was the transaction code where we have to open your current fiscal year faa underscore cmp faa underscore cmp open this transaction code here you are supposed to see your company code if it is not appearing settings are incomplete if you come down do you find your company code dein is it appearing or still no period control we need to check right your company code is still not appearing come back you'll have to go to the settings once again verify if any other setting is missing which is related to asset accounting now any other thing what some, somebody was saying something period control sir oa84 oa 84 OA84. Generate period control rules. What the, what is the fiscal year variant we were using? For leading ledger K4. For leading ledger we were using K4. Put K4. For calendar year. 2023 onwards if you click on execute so this is updating all this generate posting control rules let us remove the test run and then execute this but let me not do it let's check from img path if there is any other thing that we need to maintain to get our company code without maintaining that oa84 okay let me go to organization structure only in this additional account assignment nothing is there segment reporting nothing is there post depreciation here also nothing is there specify assign non tax this is thing we have already assigned for dein we are already assigned v0a0 right it's DEIN is already assigned. I think, sir, we didn't assign complete year. We will check. Yes, in GL we have not assigned all the accounts. We put only one GL account, right? If we go to asset GL, DEGR. account determination our account determination was d 10000 copy this balance sheet account select this open we have put only balance sheet apc account we have not put loss and all other gl accounts what we will do let's try to put this complete gl mapping first let me go to gl master what other gls it is expecting loss made from asset retirement without revenue asset scrapping did we create that gl account anywhere asset scrapping yes scrapping group 
scrapping is here copy this i'll put this as asset scrapping next one clearing account revenue from asset sale this is your asset sale clearing from the sales account sale of fixed asset i'll take this gl account we can also create one more gl account by name asset sale clearing so for now i'm giving sale of a fixed asset gain from asset sale loss from asset sale profit loss we have them profit on sales so i'll put profit on sales as gain from asset next loss from asset sale loss profit on sale loss on sale is not there non operating i think we have not created loss on sales so for time being let me assign this gl account when we are about to post we will change all the gl account assignments to complete the setting i am using a different gl account forex unrealized loss this is completed for area number 1 let me go to area number 3 here also let me put same gl accounts this gl account this 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 scrapping sale of a fixed asset profit on sale forex loss which is used for loss on sale of asset save it enter next one depreciation accounts for depreciation area number 1 accumulated depreciation for ordinary depreciation where is our accumulated depreciation accumulated depreciation for furniture is this one copy this put this here next one expense account for ordinary depreciation pnl account for depreciation is where depreciation depreciation is here this is your pnl account copy this account put this here okay similarly do the same thing for area number 3 same gl accounts accumulated depreciation and then depreciation save it with this now we have completed gl account determination completely after this let's go to this faa underscore cmp once again faa underscore cmp if you come here do you get your company code here or still it is missing missing still your company code is missing which means the settings are still not yet completed still system is expecting some settings which are missing okay now let's go back any other guesses anyone what what we need to do
what to do for this now any guess Apart from this, any other thing we can do this OA84. Generate period control rules. Apart from this, can we do anything to get our company code here? GL accounts are completely mapped. Any other setting is missed. General valuation. If you go to fiscal year specification, amount specification, determine depreciation areas, this is already done. Here also we did everything. Currencies, specify use of parallel currencies. If you see here, this is done, but here we are using group currency. Let me remove this group currency from this. I'll make this blank and I'll try to save this. Okay, I made this blank. Now I'll go to depreciation areas for foreign currencies. In this, let us make sure our currencies are properly reflecting. DEIN, depreciation areas. So your currencies are reflecting properly. Five is INR, six is dollar. 3 is INR, 4 is dollar, 1 is INR, 2 is dollar. Save as, as it is. Now I'll try to open FAA underscore CMP once again. Now do you get your company code? Yes, sir. You're getting your company code now? Yes, sir. Now, which means you need to understand if your company code is not appearing in FAA underscore CMP, some settings are wrong. If your company code is not appearing here, some settings are wrong. You need to revisit your configuration, make sure everything is properly maintained. Even if any setting which is mandatory as per S4 HANA structure, if anything is missing, you will not be able to see your company code here and you cannot add your company code manually here. If your config is correct, your company code will come automatically here. Clear? Huh? This is not related to your fiscal year mapping OA84. It has got no connection with this setting. Now select your company code here. Expand this. This company code will show the ledgers that are used or the ledgers that are assigned to your company code. You are using two ledgers. One is 0L leading ledger. The other one is DA non-leading ledger. Select this and double click on it. If you double click on it, you will see highest fiscal year is blank. You will see highest fiscal year is blank. System is not able to identify in which fiscal year your company code is currently in for asset accounting. If your company code does not have any fiscal year here, system will not allow you to perform any asset related transaction. It is mandatory. For this, what you need to do, you are on display mode, go to change mode. Click on change mode. You are currently on current fiscal year, which is 2023. Put 2023 here and hit enter. But if you see here, you are able to see only the highest fiscal year you are able to see only highest fiscal year down below you are able to see a transaction code faa underscore cmp only previously when we opened this screen there is a big t code anybody remember that t code legacy transfer date ltd right so what i'll do i'll open one more window FAA underscore CMP underscore legacy data transfer LDT enter. If I open this, you are able to see two tabs here. Here 
here you can only see the ledger settings here you can only see the ledger settings but here you are able to see general settings and then legacy data transfer correct initially what what you need to do is faa underscore cmp underscore ldt legacy data transfer not just faa underscore cmp this faa underscore cmp is performed on year end to carry forward your fixed asset to fiscal year from one year to next year this t code is used but to initiate your asset accounting configuration to regularize your asset accounting configuration you must use faa underscore cmp underscore ldt let me maximize this in this you need to check your company code leading ledger click on change mode in general data setting you have to put this is for testing by default and in the legacy data transfer make sure you maintain a record currently there is no record click on create create legacy transfer segment in this transfer date this transfer date is nothing but your fixed asset migration date or your cutover date if you are going live on current month which is june 2023 what will be the cutover date 31st if you are going live in june 2023 your cutover date will be 31st march 2023 am i correct the may sir may sir 31st yeah sorry 31st may 3105 2023 next one legacy data transfer is your in preparation or ongoing or ongoing other postings allowed so let us select ongoing other postings allowed enter reopening of a fiscal year is failed let those error messages come document type let's say for migration which document type you want let's assume we need aa or ue let's take ue this is the document type that you need comment is not required press enter let's try to save it now this settings have been saved so according to system your legacy data migration is 31st ma 31st may 2023 which means whenever you migrate your legacy data you have legacy assets in your previous system which you need to bring into sap system correct when you bring legacy data into sap system will have to determine on what posting date system has to bring the data what document type system has to use now to do that system will need your legacy transfer date legacy transfer document type any idea which transaction code is used to bring legacy data into sap is yes, 91 that is only for the master data ABLT right ABLDT if you go to ABLDT this is your legacy values here system is asking company code and then asset number after creating the asset what system will do it will try to bring the legacy asset values into system for that system requires on what date it has to pass the entry and which document type it has to consider those two things system will take from here this is mandatory setting to be performed according to leading ledger this is your legacy transfer similarly non leading ledger select your non leading ledger same things now leading ledger you are able to see it now non leading ledger the moment you updated it the second thing has disappeared you got highest fiscal year by default 2023 correct earlier this was blank now the moment you updated it has gone clear now if you go to faa underscore cmp it has to show for our company code by default 
करंट ईयर इज 2023 क्लोज्ड ईयर इज 2022 फॉर लीडिंग एंड फॉर नॉन लीडिंग क्लियर विद दिस वी हैव अपडेटेड लेगेसी डेटा ट्रांसफर डेट इन एफ ए ए अंडर स्कोर सी एम पी अंडर स्कोर एल डी टी विच इज ऑटोमेटिकली अपडेटेड योर लास्ट क्लोज ईयर एंड करेंट ओपन ईयर वंस दिस इज डन लेट एस ट्राई टू क्रिएट असेट मास्टर नाउ कम आउट ऑफ दिस ए एस जीरो वन असेट क्लास डी वन थाउजेंड कंपनी कोड डीई आई एन लेट मी हिट एंटर नाउ सिस्टम इज अलोइंग अस टू क्रिएट दी असेट बिकॉज इट एज accepted us to enter inside the screen here you put any one description the asset that we were talking about is sofa set for head office let me put the same thing copy i'll put this here just a minute let me charge my laptop description is sofa set for head office put the same thing in asset main text and if you have any serial number you can put the serial number here this is nothing but asset tag normally when you see any asset anywhere like chairs computers whatever you will find a sticker with some alpha alpha numeric number anybody noticed on any asset if you see you will find one alpha numeric number anybody saw if anybody is working if you got any laptop from your office if you turn back your office laptop there will be a sticker attached to your laptop with some number anybody noticed or if you notice any chairs tables whatsoever computer anything there will be a number attached to it they'll write some alpha numeric number they'll stick to your fixed asset physically that is called as asset tag that number is where is what you can either update in serial number or you can put it in inventory number so this is sofa set if if i say this is sofa set is sitting in head office hyderabad i may put something like hyd head office 1 2 3 any number of our choice we can put for the physical identification of asset and then i'll go to time dependent here you need to make sure cost center is mandatory for every asset that you are creating cost center is mandatory let me put one cost center dein 011001 put cost center and then straight away go to depreciation areas if you see depreciation areas system has brought six areas depreciation key useful life is coming automatically did we update this anywhere before in our configuration yes no did we update this anywhere in the sitting right we have updated this in oayz transaction code whatever we have maintained in oayz those values will get defaulted while creating the asset master if you want you can change them now depreciation start date is what you have to put now according to our example we purchased the asset on 5th june 2023 which means our depreciation should start from 5th june 2023 it will be 05 06 2023 copy paste paste clear we want system to charge depreciation from 5th june 2023 click on save now your asset master has been created let me display the asset clear with this clear how asset is created now next one let me purchase this asset using f-90 in f-90 you will be able to purchase the asset without the purchase order i'll take 
2023 and asset purchase asset purchase one okay you have to select any one vendor from whom the asset was purchased so in our example we have mentioned we purchased from Bantia furniture if you have the same supplier you will create you will take that vendor for now let me take any one available vendor enter so amount we assumed was 60000 i'll take 60000 now in the morning session we understood for document splitting Subledger accounting is relevant or irrelevant. Your document split is applicable for subledger or not? It is not applicable. Right. It is irrelevant because your document splitting is applicable only for the GL account. Now, whatever you are updating is called as fixed asset account. Your asset accounting is also a subledger. For vendor, whatever you are doing, you got two accounts. Left hand side vendor account, right hand side GL account. Now here also you are on the same thing which is your vendor account for vendor account. Do you get profit center or you don't get profit center? You don't get profit center. for vendor account. You don't get profit center your vendor account will receive the profit center from offsetting account Normally whenever you do any vendor transaction your vendor account will be credited or debited the offsetting account will be any expense account or other balance sheet GL account now in this case you are crediting a vendor which is a reconciliation account or in short your vendor account is a subledger account for any subledger account profit center accounting is not applicable so you will not find profit center field i am ignoring this i'll put asset purchase one next one you have purchased the asset when you are purchasing the asset your asset is coming inside it will be a debit for any asset debit posting key is 70. Let us take posting key 70 asset debit. And you need to put the asset number here. We created asset master. This is the asset number. Sofa set for head office. This is the number. Copy this asset number. Put this here now any transaction that you perform for your asset accounting there is a something called transaction type for any transaction that you perform for a set there is something called a transaction type this is a three digit numeric number for now for now let us remember blindly one double zero one double zero is external asset acquisition in short if you are purchasing the asset from a vendor you will be using transaction type as 100 this is mandatory for any asset purchase 100 is mandatory transaction type without a transaction type system will not perform any asset related transaction enter now here if you see you are able to see the profit center here yes sir. now this is a subledger accounting profit center you are unable to edit this is only a display mode here system is bringing the profit center based on the asset master record if you see in your master asset master record we have updated cost center in the time dependent data correct in the asset master you have assigned cost center your cost center will have a profit center automatically profit center is updated in short whenever whenever you perform any transaction for this asset automatically this asset master associated cost center profit center will be derived in your transaction for this there is one more configuration which we will do a little later there is a transaction called ac set the t code itself is acset we need to maintain acset configuration for all your asset classes to make sure 
you are not receiving any errors during your asset transactions and depreciation postings so as of now i am not updating ac set because you are able to see profit center here i'll put the same amount enter text i'll put the same thing okay this is giving a message quantity and unit of measurement are not consistent this is because when you created the asset class you have given inventory management as each you told the these assets are measured in each so according to that system is expecting please update how many quantity of assets you are purchasing let me go to more to check if quantity field is available here we don't have quantity field so i'm not updating it since this is a warning message i'm just ignoring as of now and i'll try to simulate this go to document now if you see the simulate so far we have seen only two simulations one is normal simulate which is your simulate entry view the other one is general ledger simulation now there is a third simulation called simulate asset accounting correct can you see the third simulation simulate asset yes, accounting sir. now this is a new functionality in s4 hana whenever you are processing any transaction related to asset you will get asset accounting view simulation also let us first do normal simulation this is your normal simulation which we do for any transaction no change in this next one is your simulate general ledger accounting there is no change in this also here if you see profit center is split between your vendor and asset correct system is able to bring profit center for both debit and credit how system is bringing the profit center it is coming from your asset master record in asset master we put cost center cost center has profit center from there it is deriving the profit center in the asset transaction from asset it is derived in your vendor line item transaction if this is not happening you have to maintain ac set anyways ac set is a mandatory configuration to be maintained for all your company codes after this let me come back these two are normal simulations which we did before no change in this next one let us do the simulation of asset accounting let me click on simulate asset accounting but if you see what is the accounting entry vendor account credit asset account debit correct vendor credit asset debit let's click on asset accounting go to document simulate asset accounting enter if you simulate asset accounting you will find this in a different way you posted two lines how many lines are appearing four you posted two lines it is appearing four lines now here you need to talk about accounting principle what is this accounting principle ifrs correct huh? this is your ifrs if you look at the accounting entry how many document types are generated three two how many two, document sir. types two document type two. one is kr the other one is aa one is kr the other one is aa if you look at this look at the last two gl accounts let me select if you look at only the last two lines that i have selected now what are these two gl accounts 101020 what is this gl account that we created technical clearing this is your technical clearing account now what is happening to this technical clearing account this is getting debit this is getting credit correct 
Yes. If you see this, 1010020, positive 60,000, which means it is a debit. Posting is 70, asset debit. The same GL account is having a credit number, which is your posting is 75. One side, it is being debited with the document type KR without any ledger. On the other side, the same document, sorry, the same account is being credited with the document type AA. Debit is hitting one document type without a ledger. Credit is hitting another document type with a ledger. Why? Now, when you talk about asset accounting, there are two views in your asset accounting. What are those two views? Any idea? Operational valuation. One is your operation view. The second one is valuation view. Operation view is used for vendor or for asset. Vendor. Valuation. Asset and technical clearance. Valuation view is used for asset. Now, in short, if you talk about your asset accounting, are we valuating our fixed asset in one way or in multiple ways? Multiple ways. If I show you the asset master. Do you have one depreciation area or multiple depreciation areas? multiple if you have multiple depreciation areas which represents you are valuating your fixed asset in multiple ways why you are valuating fixed asset in multiple ways because you have different different accounting principle now this is your asset valuation or fixed asset valuation according to ifrs correct one is your ifrs valuation second one is companies act valuation third one is income tax or any other accounting principle related valuation clear valuation you are using for fixed asset am i correct valuation you are using for fixed asset because you are charging or you are calculating a depreciation based on different different accounting principle that is why your valuation view always represents fixed asset you are valuating fixed asset according to different different accounting principle now, operation view is always represented for your vendor. Because it's a business process, it's a business operation between you and your supplier. You have done a business transaction with the supplier. Your supplier requires the payment of what he has supplied to you. So, according to vendor, this is a pure business transaction, business operation. So, whenever you talk about operating view or operational view, we are talking about vendor line item. Whenever you're talking about valuation view, you're talking about asset line item. If you talk about the accounting entry that we have to generate, what is the accounting entry for asset purchase that we, no we normally have to write? Debit credit. Which account should be debit? Debit credit. Debit. Which account should be debit? Asset will have asset to be debit. debit. Vendor credit. This is the accounting entry, correct? Asset debit, vendor credit. If you go to the entry simulation, where is your asset? Where is your asset debit? Here is your asset debit. Your asset debit is here. And where is your vendor credit? Okay. Vendor, your credit is here. In short, if you look at the total based on the ledger group, let me do a subtotal here. Okay, KR document type is now showing zero. AA document type is now showing zero. Your vendor account is having a credit in which document type KR. Your vendor account is having a credit in document type KR. 
but your vendor account has got any debit in the other type No. Now, with which account your vendor account is offset? Your vendor account is offset with what GL account? One zero one triple zero twenty. Correct? Yes. Sir. Agree. Your vendor account is offset with technical clearing account. Now, this transaction is now completed. This is your operation view. In your operation view, your vendor account is credited. Technical clearing account is debited. Clear? Any confusion in this? In operation view, vendor account is credited. Technical clearing account is debited. Second one, the document type which contains AA. This is your valuation view. According to valuation view, if you look at this, your fixed asset is debited. Now this is your fixed asset GL account, correct? One zero one all zeros three. If you look at your GL master fixed asset for furniture, Fixed asset. Is this correct? Furniture and fitting. This is the GL account number. Yes. No. Yes, sir. So this account is supposed to be debited. Now, if you check, is this GL account being debited here? One zero one. Yes. Sir. All zeros three. This is your valuation view. Now, this fixed asset is offset with again. Another GL account called technical clearing account. One zero one all zeros twenty. Correct? Yes. Now, as of now, I want you to understand this accounting entry alone. I want you to understand this accounting entry alone because it takes a little time for you to get clarity, so that you will be able to explain this accounting entry in your interviews. They will ask you to explain this accounting entry. First thing they will ask you to tell the accounting entry. What is debit? What is credit? You are ideally supposed to get one debit, one credit, but you are getting two debits, two credits. First thing they will ask you why you will get two debits, two credits. Your answer will be your asset accounting in S4 HANA contains two views: valuation view and operational view. According to valuation view, your vendor account. Is not coming into the picture. Your valuation view is between your asset, asset debit, asset credit. In your valuation view, what are the posting keys? Seventy and seventy-five. Correct? In your valuation view, posting keys are seventy and seventy-five, which means this is within asset accounting. Document type will be AA. On the other side, for your operational view, your accounting entry is with. Vendor and technical clearing account for fixed asset. Document type will be KR. From KR, one leg will be your technical clearing account. From AA, one leg will be technical clearing account. This technical clearing account within the transaction will become zero. Now, what I will do? I will do a subtotal at GL account level. If I select the GL account, if I do a subtotal. Now, this is your asset account, which is debited for. Let me collapse everything. There are three GL accounts involved here. One zero one all zeros three. What is this GL account? One zero one all zeros three is which account? Furniture and fittings. Correct? Yes, no. One zero one. All zeros three is furniture and fittings. Furniture and fittings. One zero one. All zeros three. What is the amount? Sixty thousand debit or credit? Positive or negative? 
debits debit, debit 60000 positive the other one which is 101 all zeros 20 any amount posted or it is zero it is zero it is zero what is this gl account 101 all zeros 20 technical technical clearing this is technical clearing account technical clearing account will become zero this is used to pass the entry or to post the entry according to two views valuation view and operation view one leg is on the valuation view the other leg is on the operation view which means debit in valuation view credit in operation view or vice versa so that within the transaction your technical clearing account will become zero net net from the finance point of view from the accounting point of view there is no impact with this financial accounting entry correct your technical clearing account is not posting any amount am i correct yes sir yes now if you look at the 241 all zeros 4 there is a credit balance what is this 241 all zeros 4 vendor account this is your vendor account in short in short debit asset account credit vendor account is this what happening here or anything beyond that is happening in short that is what is happening in the system you are debiting to fixed asset 60000 you are crediting to vendor 241 all zeros 4 correct Yes, sir. Now let me go back in this entry. Now I'll try to post this entry. Click on post, enter. Now this is giving an error message. No document number found for entry view for document type AA Ledger DA. So for Ledger AA. sorry document type aa ledger da it is telling there is no document type double click on this message this is giving the path here click on this open this this is your ledger specific document number da is the ledger so number range we need to create before that we need to update the number range you will find a document type and document number range You go to AA. Number range is zero one. Go back. Document types in a ledger. DA. Put this AA. You put the same number range zero one. or you can put da as the number range i'm using da i'll be using da for all the document types in this i'll also use kr and then i'll put same number range because our entry is posted with two document types one in aa one in kr save this next one we need to update the number range under da one number range will have to be maintained go back document number ranges company code dein number range interval we updated DA.
I'll use a different number range. Let's say I'll use 66 all zeros. 66 all lines. Enter. And save it. Now ledger specific document type and number range has been updated. Let's go back. And I'll try to simulate once again. Enter. Let me try to post. Now entry has been posted. If I display this document. When I display the document, it is giving vendor account debit, but it is not telling me it is not telling me the GL account. What is the GL account you are able to see here? Is this asset GL account or technical clearing account? Technical clearing. Technical this is your technical clearing account. If you look at the document type. What is the document type? AR is the document type, correct? Huh? Clear? KR is a document type. Let me close this. Document type is KR. Document number is 19 all zeros one. Now here you have another view. All, along with general ledger view, you have asset accounting view. Let me click on asset accounting view. If I click on asset accounting view, check what is happening. Asset accounting view, you get another document number apart from 19 all zeros one. There is another document number called 10133. Correct? Huh? How many document numbers system has generated one or two? One asset posting has generated single document or two documents, two document numbers. Two, doc two document numbers, one document number in operational view, other document number in which view? Valuation, Valuation view. Now, let me go back. Sir, here for vendor profit center is not coming. This is not coming because we are not on the general ledger view. If you look at the general ledger view, you will be able to see the profit centers. Okay. okay. Clear? Okay. Now what I'm going to do, I am going to environment on the top from the display document, go to environment you will find document environment from document environment click on accounting documents let me click on accounting documents if i click on accounting documents how many entries it is showing how many entries it has generated four how many entries it has generated? Two, sir. Look at the document numbers. Three, three. Four, sir. Three. Document numbers. Three, sir. One, zero, one, thirty-three, nineteen, zero, one, sixty-six, nineteen, zero, one. Three. Three numbers. All right. If I open the first document number, which is 101, all zeros 3. Let me double click on this. If I double click on this, this is giving me. If you're not talking, please be on mute. Document number 101, all zeros 3. Do you find any ledger group here? Yes, sir. This is posted only in leading ledger. 
101.33 is posted only in which ledger? Leading ledger. Now, clear? Huh? This is posted only in leading ledger. Again, to see the additional document, option number one, you go back. You'll get the list of documents again. We have seen 101 all zeros 33. This is posted only in ledger group 0L, which is leading ledger. Second one, if you see 19 all zeros 1, does this have any ledger group or no ledger group? No ledger. No ledger. No ledger group. Double click on this. If you double click on this, it has posted credit in vendor account. It has posted credit in vendor account, debit in technical clearing account. In which group? Is there any ledger group or it is blank? Yeah. This is blank. Blank ledger group it's means it is it has posted to all your ledgers, leading non-leading ledgers. Let me go back. Third one, 66, all zeros. What is the ledger group? DERL. -E Double click on this DERL. It has posted debit and credit to your asset. It has posted a debit and credit to asset. Your original asset account is debited here and your asset technical clearing account is credited here. Now, even though you are able to see three document numbers, nowhere system duplicates or nowhere system updates wrong records. Okay. In the next session, we will see all the GL reports, all the asset reports to ensure that all the documents, whatever has been posted will not result any duplication, will not result any incorrect value updation. But now you understood how to verify the asset document number, especially for the purchase. Yes, sir. Right. Now I'll come back. This is all about your asset document posting. Next one, let us look at the asset values now. According to us, whatever the number that we calculated, we got some numbers when we calculated. These are the numbers that we have manually calculated for the same asset purchased on this. Now we purchased posted this number. Let us verify whether system is giving the same number or different number. For that, what you need to do is you need to display the asset. You need to display the asset on the asset display. You will find an option called asset values. This is nothing but asset explorer. If you click on this asset value, you will be redirected to a transaction code called AW01N. This AW01N is Asset Explorer, wherein you will be able to see asset values. If you look at the IFRS, INR figure, the asset purchase value is 60,000. APC transaction is 60,000. Is your APC value 60,000? Correct? Huh? Yes. yes, sir. Next one, depreciation in the first year, ordinary depreciation, it is showing 5,178.08. If you come here, it is showing 5,163.93. Now there is the same number or there is a difference in number? Different. There is a difference. It's a huge difference or a minor difference? Minor difference. There is a minor difference. Now, let's come back to Excel sheet. In our Excel sheet calculation, depreciation per day, we calculated based on 366 days or 365 days. 366. 366. Now, what I will do, I'll recalculate based on 365 divided by 365. Now, based on this, I will calculate per day first year depreciation 210 days into this now what is the value here 
Is this the same number? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, when you are looking at the SAP number calculation, you should always pay attention on the calculations, how system is arriving at the number. Initially, when we calculated, we calculated based on 366 days. Now, all the time we were talking about one point why we are taking 366 days. Why did we take 366 days here? Because according to our fiscal year, your February month has got how many days? How many days? 29. Yes, sir. Right. So considering 29 days, we are assuming year is equivalent to 366 days, 365 normal plus one leap day in February, 366. But when system actually calculated this, did system take 366 or it took only 365? 365 it took only 365 because if you look at this screen this is your company code this is your company code this is your asset number for which year are we currently looking at 2023 so what system will do it will check in february how many days are there in 2023 this year, February has got 29 days or 28 days? 28 days. 28 days. If you include 28 days in February, your year is 365 or 366? 365. 365. Accordingly, system has taken this calculation. Clear? Yes. Clear? First year, 5178.08. Now, second year is 9000. What I will do? I will go to second year, which is your this. Currently, I am on 2023. If I click on right arrow, I will go to next year. If I go to next year, 2024. What is the depreciation in 2024? You need to look at the change. This one. How much 9, it is showing? 9000. Now, I'll go to 2023. Next one, what I will do is I'll click on leading ledger dollar. Here it is showing 60,000. If you select dollar, the amounts will reflect in US dollar. This is your 750 dollar. According to 750 dollar, 65 dollar is the depreciation per year, first year. Second year, your depreciation will be one one two dollars clear this is just a conversion of your leading ledger INR figure clear next one I'll go to Indian Companies Act INR figure Indian Companies Act INR is showing sixty thousand depreciation 6904.11 let's come to indian companies act now according to indian companies act your value is 60000 first year It's stuck. Okay. First year it is showing sixty thousand. What is the depreciation in the first year according to Indian Companies Act? Yes, nine zero. Six nine zero four point. 11 now if you go to your manual calculation did you get 6904.5 no sir no there is a difference 
yes there is a difference now why there is a difference this is a minor difference or a major difference huge difference 9868 is what you got 6904 is what system is getting according to us from when depreciation is starting from june correct huh? according to your calculation for indian companies act you are starting from june in short you are posting for 7 plus 3 10 months depreciation we calculated for indian companies act am i correct yes sir now let me open the posted values in 2023 in the asset explorer for indian companies act let's go to posted values if i go to posted values it will give you monthly depreciation breakup how many months it is posting the depreciation Six to twelve. It's taking only from six to twelve. Six to twelve. Is this taking your next year values? No, sir. It is not taking next year values. Why? In two thousand twenty-four, it will come. Right. Why it is not taking? Need to change fiscal year. If you remember, when you are creating chart of depreciation, when you are creating chart of depreciation, when we try to assign chart of depreciation to the company code, first error that you got was different fiscal year start and end dates. Yes. Sir. Right. that was your first error for that what we did we created one more ledger called representative ledger in that representative ledger you ensured that same fiscal year is assigned same fiscal year is assigned of your leading ledger to the representative ledger correct yes yes now directly from your asset accounting your non leading ledger is not coming your representative ledger is coming according to representative ledger according to representative ledger your fiscal year is jan to december am i correct yes sir got my point according to representative ledger your fiscal year is jan to december your representative ledger contains two ledgers one is your representative ledger the other one is non leading ledger so non leading ledger will get posted in the background so on the foreground whatever you see on the asset explorer is representative ledger for representative ledger your depreciation is from june to december only because according to representative ledger fiscal year is jan to december clear am i clear yes sir now here what i need to do to get that number i need to recalculate the figure this 12000 divided by 365 per day depreciation and now this per day depreciation multiplied by how many days 210 days correct huh? yes what is the number 6904.11 if i open this planned values 6904.11 is the number matching yes understood how system has brought the numbers this is very important if you are not clear with this we will not be able to understand asset accounting in s4 hana system right whatever the numbers you calculated on the sap whatever the numbers that the excel sheet number with sap number are they matching or not are we able to match exactly with the decimals right now did you understand how this calculation 
has happened, what calculations we have done, what settings we have done to achieve our manual calculation into SAP. Right? These calculations you will be questioned, you will be asked in your interview. Sometimes your interviewers, if you are in a physical interview, they might ask you to write down or show the calculations on the pen and paper. They will give you pen and paper, they might ask you to write down this. But now nobody will ask you to write down, but they want you to explain and then convince them. And if you tell theoretically nobody is interested in your explanation, they want you to take one example and then explain the calculations, how system is going to bring the num number. Similarly, if you take the second one, you will see the values in dollars. This is your IIT, the last depreciation area which is not used for postings. This is not used for posting, but if you see this, it is showing 60,000, but same amount 6904.11. Here also it is a 6904.11. Is there any change in this? No change, correct? Huh? But according yes. to our requirement, this has got a different depreciation method. For this, what we put, if you go to parameters, you will see 20% return on value method, WDV. But is this 20% WDV? Yeah. Is this 20% WDV or not? Can anybody tell why this and this is same? Is this is this an error or this is correct? It's displaying leading lecture, right? No, Indian Companies Act is showing 6904.11 and your Indian income tax is also showing 6904.11. Is this correct or wrong? Mm. Wrong. Now here, why this is coming 6904.11? This is because based on life. How many years? Five. Five years. If you do one divided by five, how much you are getting? Percentage? You simply do one divided by life. One divided by five, if I put, what is the depreciation rate? 20%. 20%. If you look at the Indian Income Tax Act in the parameters, what is the rate of depreciation? 20%. So first year, coincidentally, both are 20% technically. Correct? Huh? Yes. Value divided by five years is equivalent to 20% amount. In this also 20% straightforward. So values are matching. To verify if this is an error or this is proper, you need to go to second year. Let me go to second year, which is 2024. In 2024, according to Indian Income Tax Act, which is based on WDV method, what is the depreciation? Ten thousand six one nine point eighteen. Now let me go to Indian Companies Act, two thousand twenty-four. Is this ten thousand or it is different? It is different. One thousand. This is different. Now is the number getting calculated properly or not? Yes. Right. Three methods are getting accurately calculated. And now if you see the Indian income tax dollar, you will find the same number in US dollar. And if you want to compare all the depreciation, you have to go to comparison tab.
a little slow so far you are able to understand the numbers how we brought from our excel sheet into sap calculations So I think it is stuck. Let me re-login only better. We'll understand this comparison and then we'll close this. Comparisons. It's not yet. Nineteen zero nine. A W zero one N. D E I N. This is it. Let me go to comparison. So you might also face the same problem when you try to open this comparison in this server it is taking a little time to come to this tab but normally it will not take that much time okay in comparison you can see any depreciation area parallelly like we can check ifrs inr companies act inr indian income tax act income tax act inr three figures in single shot so that you can practically understand how numbers are getting updated for three depreciation areas. Okay, this is taking quite a long time. So we'll see this tomorrow. Okay, you might also encounter the same problem in our server that I need to inform this technical team. It's taking time when you click on comparisons. But if you click on any other things, it will not take time. Only this comparison tab, it is taking time to load. Clear it, right? whatever we have done. I want you to take one asset, different asset, different number. Try your manual calculations, post the same asset on the same date for the same value. Create in your SAP make sure you are able to get this three different numbers according to your depreciation keys according to your manual calculation clear huh? yes sir all right let me stop this recording